The latest release of Lightroom, which for Lightroom Classic is version 8.3, includes a new slider that you'll find in the basic set of adjustments on the right panel in the Develop module, that is the Texture slider. And understandably, that might leave you a little bit confused about what the difference is between texture, clarity, and even dehaze, and while we're at it, sharpening as well. All of these various controls are essentially enhancing details in the image. The key difference between all of them is the scale. Sharpening is applied essentially at the pixel level, a very small scale, whereas texture is a small scale but larger than sharpening, clarity is larger still, and dehaze is the largest in terms of the scale at which they're applying enhanced contrast. So keep in mind first and foremost that all of these are a variation on sharpening, and sharpening essentially is enhancing contrast where contrast already exists. So let's take a look at sharpening first. If I go into the detail section and let's go ahead and zoom in on an area of the image and significantly increase the settings that affect sharpening, and you'll see a couple of things. Essentially, we're adding what almost looks like film grain to the image because we're enhancing texture at a very small scale. Naturally, with sharpening, you need to be a little bit careful not to apply settings that are too aggressive because this texture is not exactly pleasing in the image. So think of sharpening as purely being an option for attempting to make up for a loss of sharpness in the original. Not a loss of focus, but a loss of sharpness caused by lens elements and the actual conversion of analog information to digital, etc. Most importantly, be sure to keep that sharpening at relatively modest levels. I'll scroll down on the image here so we can take a look at some areas that have texture to them so we can then compare the texture, clarity, and dehaze adjustments. So going back to the basic section, first, if I maximize the setting for texture, you'll see that we're affecting detail. We're enhancing contrast at a rather small scale. I'll reset that and bring up clarity, and you start to see wider areas of contrast. And then finally, if I reset clarity and increase the dehaze value, you'll see that the areas of contrast have essentially gotten larger. We're getting deep shadows and bright highlights. Now, of course, there's some sophisticated math going on in the background for all of these adjustments, so they're not quite as simple as just enhancing detail. For example, the dehaze adjustment really can reduce the appearance of haze in a photo. But ultimately, reducing the appearance of haze is enhancing texture and details within the photo. So zooming out so that we can see the full image again, you'll see that dehaze applies a relatively strong adjustment to relatively wide areas, large areas of the photo. In other words, it's operating on details that are defined across a relatively large number of pixels, at least in the context of that contrast enhancement. Clarity is focusing on a little bit smaller range. This is our mid-tone contrast enhancement, essentially, which helps to define overall light and shadow areas and general textures within the image. But if you really want to get down into the fine textures, the texture slider is your tool. It's going to enhance at a very small scale. So think of this as texture being a small size enhancement. It can still be a strong enhancement, but relatively small in size. Clarity is sort of medium, and dehaze is large. They're all doing very similar things in terms of detail and contrast enhancement. They're just operating at a little bit of a different scale. So use sharpening modestly in order to compensate for the initial softness in an image. Use dehaze to cut back on haze or enhance overall contrast throughout the image. Use clarity to enhance details and texture, overall contrast at sort of a medium size, you might say. And think of texture as really getting down to the fine grittiness in the photo. But ultimately, all three of these adjustments, as well as sharpening, are enhancing details just focusing on a different scale within the photo.